One of the biggest problems in multiplayer games are cheaters, and my advice is don't worry about it. Now let me explain what that means. Cheaters are obviously a very big problem. If you've got some kind of player character playing your game, and then there's some kind of cheater also playing it, and they've got some kind of teleport hack, they're basically just going to move around your player all the time, then eventually kill your player, and it's going to be very frustrating for your genuine players. This obviously sucks, so this is definitely a problem that technically you should fix, but my advice to indie devs is indeed don't worry about it. And the reason why I say that is very simple. You've got multi-billion dollar companies making something like Call of Duty and they cannot stop cheaters. So if a massive company with pretty much infinite resources, if they cannot solve that problem, that is why I tell indie devs, don't worry about it because chances are you're basically just going to waste your time. Your time is much better spent actually building the game, actually making the game look good, as opposed to wasting your time trying to fight cheaters, which is pretty much always going to be a losing battle. Although there's one caveat to this advice, basically what I'm saying applies mainly to co-op games, where you really don't have to worry about cheaters at all, I really suggest you don't even think about it. As opposed to PvP games, where if you're working on none of those, then you definitely do have to do at least something. So I encourage you, if you want to make multiplayer games, make them co-op, that is going to be much easier. And if you do want to make a PvP game, and again, you don't have billions of dollars like Activision, then perhaps look into one of the various anti-cheat toolkits on the Asset Store. I've never used these myself, I have no idea how good they are, but nothing is ever fully cheat-proof. So if you can, just avoid the problem altogether. If not, use one of those tools. But either way, your own time as an indie game dev, it is going to be much better spent actually making a better game as opposed to trying to solve a problem that you really cannot solve.